Are you afraid you're going to look really sloppy when you travel because your clothes are wrinkled? If so, then this video is for you. Because in this video, I'm going to share what I have learned over the years that works really, really well to prevent wrinkles when you pack your clothing so that you don't look like a slob when you arrive at your destination. My absolutely favorite fabrics to wear are natural fiber fabrics. And let me ask you, what wrinkles the most easily? And then let me answer that question because it's natural fiber fabrics. And this, can be a conundrum because I want to travel with my favorite clothing pieces, but I don't want to look like a sloppy wrinkled mess on my trip. So I had to figure out a way to pack my favorite clothing pieces in a way that reduces or eliminates wrinkles as much as as possible when I travel. And I have an absolute game changer tip coming up for you. But before we get to that, let's start at the beginning. Now, the first thing you need to do to be able to pack your clothing items in a way that prevents wrinkles as much as as possible is to choose your luggage wisely. And my favorite is this Briggs & Riley piece. And let me show you why. This is the exact piece that I use for all my carry-on travel. And I love it so much. It's got so many amazing features, but we're not gonna get into all the features of the bag right now. We're just gonna get into the one that I think does the most to help prevent wrinkles. And that is this integrated garment hanger. That's right. In a carry-on piece, they have a really well thought out and designed integrated garment hanger. And let me show you why that works so well. It works so well because it allows you to pack your clothing pieces in the way that they were meant to be stored, on hangers. When you pack your clothing pieces on hangers, then they're naturally going to have fewer folds and creases in them. And when your clothing has fewer folds and creases in them, it's simply gonna have fewer wrinkles as well. So my first packing tip for you to prevent wrinkles as much as possible is simply to choose your luggage very carefully, very wisely. My second packing tip for you that is really going to help you prevent wrinkles in your packed clothing is to simply not overpack. I know, it sounds so much easier than it really is, right? But overpacking causes crushing of your clothing. You're creating unnecessary additional creases and folds within those pieces. And then you're smashing them as flat as you can to get as much in that bag as you can, which is absolutely going to create wrinkles, right? Like there's, there's really no way around it. If you overpack and crush all your clothing pieces, you're absolutely going to create wrinkles. With that being said, the second tip I have for you to prevent wrinkles as much as possible when you pack your clothing is simply to pack with a plan. Plan your travel capsule wardrobe carefully so that you don't overpack. You want to take with you everything you need, but you don't need to take anything you don't. So be sure you're packing with a plan. Now I have done a few videos on how to plan the perfect travel capsule wardrobe and I'll link those here. And because so many of y'all have had a lot of questions and comments around my planning process, I will soon be releasing a travel capsule planning worksheet for free right here on the channel. So if that's something that's interesting to you, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you want to subscribe to the channel. So when when that does come out in the next few weeks, you'll be able to get that for free. Now, let's get to the game-changing packing tip. This tip allows you to pack, maybe even overpack, and still prevent wrinkles in your clothing when you arrive at your destination. And it is what I call bundle packing. Let me show you what I mean. A bundle packing is just exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna create a little bundle of clothing but we're gonna create our bundle in a very specific way that prevents wrinkles. And what we need to start with is our most bulkiest piece that we're going to pack. The bulkier pieces in your wardrobe are just less likely to wrinkle just because of the very nature of the fabric having some bulk and weight to it. Now this could be jeans, it could be a coat. For me, it's almost always a cardigan. So I'm gonna grab a cardigan. I love these big chunky knit cardigans from Baba. They're my favorite. And so I'm just gonna fold this into a little rectangle. This cardigan is going to be the base, the foundation of my bundle. Now I'm gonna grab my pieces that wrinkle easily. Now what I have here are four tops that wrinkle very easily. Three of them are in linen and one is in silk. So I'm going to start with a linen piece and I'm going to start building my bundle by simply just laying this linen piece right over on top of the cardigan. And I'm gonna continue to layer it, laying one piece on top of the other kind of lining everything up. I want all of the neck or collar area to be about in the same place, just because that's pleasing to my eye. I feel like when the clothing pieces are lined up a little bit better, it just makes it easier to keep my bundle nice and neat. So I've got all my very easily wrinkled pieces layered right on top of my cardigan foundation. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it. At least I hope I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it carefully. Now, of course, you don't have to start from the bottom up like I did in the bundling process. You can certainly start from the top 
down. And lay out your likely to wrinkle pieces first. And then you don't have to worry about the flip. I don't know why I don't do it the way, I just don't. Now I'm simply going to wrap my pieces that are likely to wrinkle easily around my foundational piece that is not likely to wrinkle, just like so. Again, I'm being careful to make sure everything is tucked with as few folds as possible. And what I'm left with is this bundle of clothing to be packed. And relay this bundle right in my suitcase. And that's it, it's packed. There's my bundle laying nice and neat at the base of my suitcase. That bundle method of packing is the game changer method for me. I pack almost exclusively linen, cotton, silk. And this work, this bundle method has worked for me every single time. So I hope you give that a try and it works for you just as well. Now the next tip I have for you is to simply unpack your clothing items and put them on hangers when you arrive at your destination. But don't just hang them up in the closet, unless they're perfect. If they're already perfect and not wrinkled at all, feel free to hang them up in your closet and get on with your trip. But if they do have some wrinkling or some creasing that you kind of want to relax and settle, just hang those hangers up in the bathroom and turn on a really hot water shower in order to build some steam up into the bath. Let the room get really steamy with those clothing pieces hung up inside of it, and then turn the shower off, close the door, and then just let them be in there. The clothing fibers, especially if they are natural fiber fabrics, are going to absorb the steam. And as they absorb that moisture from the air, they're naturally going to release the wrinkles. And you should be good to go. But here's the big butt of the video. None of these tips is absolutely 100% wrinkle free. It just doesn't work that way. Every once in a while, you're going to have a stubborn wrinkle. Even if you've picked the perfect luggage piece, even if you've planned the perfect travel capsule wardrobe and you did not overpack and crush your items, even if you bundled them beautifully and hung them up in a steam shower, you could still end up with one of those stubborn wrinkles that is just not willing to let go on its own. And that is why I always travel with this little dual voltage steam iron. I absolutely love this thing. If I find one of those wrinkles that is just not going to go on its own, I just simply take my little steam iron to it and quickly those wrinkles are gone. Now I do understand a lot of people prefer a steamer over an iron and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I think both work well. In my experience, probably because I wear so much linen, the iron just works a little bit better. Now this iron, this little steam iron that I have does put out a lot of steam. So on some of my more delicate fabrics, like maybe a tulle skirt or some of my silks, I only use the steam. I don't actually put the iron on the fabric. So this particular piece kind of gives me like a two for one. I have a steamer function and an iron. I use the iron way more than the steamer function, but it just works really well for me. It takes up very little space. You can see this thing's tiny, right? So I always travel with my little dual voltage travel iron. After learning all of this the hard way, I now pack my preferred clothing items that I am most comfortable and most confident in because they allow me to represent myself in my most personal, authentic style without looking and feeling like a wrinkled sloppy mess when I arrive at my destination. And I hope you don't have to learn to do that the hard way like I did. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes today. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate y'all stopping in here to visit. If you're interested in hanging out again, maybe you wanna to subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. If you're not ready to subscribe, don't worry about it at all because it's really not that big of a deal. Whether you subscribe or not, you're welcome to come back anytime you like and hang out because I will be here. I will be here making videos right here or you know somewhere out in the world. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Until I do see you over there. Bye y'all.